as much as there's a lot, really a lot that I like from GNOME or Elementary OS or other projects, one thing that I think Kitty leads in, of course, a lot of people are going to disagree with that, but personally, personally, I think that Kitty has some of the nicest wallpapers that I've seen. Personally, I think that wallpapers is something that Kitty excels at. So one could rightfully ask, okay, but how does Kitty choose wallpaper or does all wallpaper, are all wallpapers done by Kitty? So Kitty does actually have three different ways of choosing wallpapers depending on the, the mood basically, but let's actually go through them. So the first one is the most simplest one and it's the one that actually got used by the majority of releases and uh, 5.24 as an example has this wallpaper Honeywave I think it's called because it was done by Canvernet which is one of the major wallpaper artists of Kitty and almost all of the wallpapers in the 5.x line were done by him and uh, especially in, earlier on and uh, sometimes he's busy <laughs> rightfully so rightfully so and uh, at the if you know like the older kitty wallpapers, like super beautiful, those are Canvernet. Sometimes he's busy. So there are different ways that kitty does get some wallpapers. And one of them is by doing contests. The last one was done by the uh, for the 5.23 release. So the one just before this wallpaper. And uh, it's, really simple like anybody can submit a wallpaper with certain rules and then the wallpaper the winner is actually selected by a jury so case number one Canvernet provides a wallpaper the wallpaper is automatically chosen as the wallpaper that we're going to use because it's very good <laughs> if Canvernet isn't available then we either case to run a competition and in this case, the wallpaper is chosen by a jury. Uh, it's a jury of around five people and uh, the exact rules always depend on the competition. We've done two so far, if I remember correctly. And um, I mean, it's a competition. Anybody can submit anything and we do get a lot of super cool wallpapers. At the end, the prettiest one wins. Uh, there's even a prize, so that's useful. And um, the winner receives the prize and the wallpaper is used as default in the next release of Kitty Plasma. In this case, usually everybody knows about the wallpaper that will be used before the release because we do an announcement saying this guy or this girl won the tournament, the contest, so we are using his her wallpaper. Fun fact, when I first joined KDE, I was like in the promotion group and I did actually participate in one of the contests. If you go to the older contest, you actually get one of the submissions that is done by me. Nowadays, I'm set that, like giving prizes, this is me. But back then I was actually doing wallpapers, hoping that w my wallpapers were going to be showcased by default on Kitty Plasma. They weren't, but I'm still proud of myself. This one is, I think, one of my uh, previous ones. Of course it doesn't apply, thank you. Okay, funnily enough, if you select my wallpaper in particular, the default one gets selected for some reason. So sorry about that. But yeah, it's this one and uh, I don't know, I, I, I'm proud, I'm proud. It did not get selected, it did not win. I was very sad, but I'm proud. <laughs> okay, what else? The third thing we do often is we take all of the nice wallpapers that were done by um, all of the people that sent them to the um, competitions. And if Cam is busy, if he's not, we always take his wallpaper, but if he's busy, rightfully so, <laughs> Uh, we actually get all together, we look at the wallpapers and we think, okay, what should be the right wallpaper to use? This is a discussions, discussion that actually happens publicly, differently from the jury. The jury one is close to the public and it's just five people. In this case, open to the public and anybody can come in and give their opi opinions. So how does it work? Well, 
Ideally, we would just talk about the best wallpapers and eventually agree on one. That doesn't quite work because wallpapers in general are something very subjective and uh, sometimes it's very hard to actually reach an agreement. So if we start discussing and we see after some discussion that it's not working, we're just saying, okay, it's like that and somebody else, no, no, let's do that and we don't uh, tend to any agreement, then we start voting after a lot of discussion, we start voting. We did it the first time on September 6, 2020. This was the very first time we started voting for wallpapers. And um, now in theory, everybody with a Fabricator account act can actually vote. But uh, the important thing, is, thing about this kind of vo voting is that it's not binding. We are doing this just to poll between ourselves what we prefer the most as a community, we know each other. And of course, technically speaking, we could get like 500 comments from accounts that were created this very day. And if that happens, it's not like we have to uh, count the results as final. If we see that the voting was somehow somewhat, it did not go as we thought was going to, one can just say, okay, no, let's actually ignore that and let's start discussing again. We, we can do that. It's not by any means uh, binding. And fun fact, I was also a judge for wallpapers, so privately. And one thing we did for uh, deciding the winner of the contest privately is voting. We actually voted the wallpapers. And when we saw the results, we saw the ranking, we had the first wallpapers, the first wallpaper that got the most votes and we discussed and we, re we realized that uh, that one wasn't going to work. So even though it was the highest rated uh, between us judges, we actually decided to on some other wallpaper that maybe had less votes, but we agreed on more than the one that got first. So this voting, which we see here, is not binding by any means. I, I, I just love doing cool tables. Like I, I just keep doing all of the cool tables with the votes of everyone. I, I, it's me. <laughs> so these are the three ways. We either get a Cambernet wallpaper, we either do a contest with a closed jury, or we just discuss between ourselves and start some voting that's not actually binding just to get our opinion. And um, if we run out of wallpapers, we do a new contest and that's mostly it. There's a whole another video I could do about how do we actually, what, what do we, we actually do after the wallpaper is chosen? Like we say, okay, this wallpaper is pretty, but how do we actually implement it in KD Plasma? It's not that easy. I wrote a Python script to do that and it's fairly complex. So I'm going to talk about that maybe if you're interested. But for today, this is it.